12 types of kisses that will have you both craving more. Try out these 12 types of kisses to prove that making out is the best for showing affection, communicating intimacy, and being hot AF foreplay. Royal Hand Kiss A person kissing the top of another's offered hand is the most formal of kisses. The traditional ritual doesn't imply affection, it's more a polite and respectful greeting among strangers meeting for the first time. Air Kiss Air kissing is a social gesture that involves pursing your lips and leaning in as if you're kissing, but without actually touching the other person's cheek, the little, moi, sound is optional. It can be a hello or a goodbye and communicates endearment, like, something you may do with a friend or family member when you're saying goodbye. Cheek Kiss very popular in Europe, one or two light kisses on the cheek is a friendly greeting that says, happy to see you, between friends, family, partners, and sometimes, strangers. But say it happens with a romantic partner post-date, assume it's their respectful way of telling you they had a great time, but want to take things slow. Eskimo kiss. Some think it's corny, but some couples love to rub noses because it's their thing, and unique to the relationship. There's no lip touching in an Eskimo kiss, but it's intimate without being sexual. You have to be very close to someone, whether you're looking into their eyes or closing your eyes and feeling their breath, says Richmond. Single lip kiss. This seductive, warm-up move involves kissing the person's bottom lip while they kiss your top lip, or vice versa. The single lip kiss is a playful tease, an offer that maybe there's more to come. French kiss. We, oui, we. Oui. The open mouth kiss with tongue is all types of erotic there's almost no other kiss that connects two people more. But keep it for the bedroom, MMK. It's probably not soups appropriate when you're tonguing at a funeral or a Starbucks. Bite kiss. Kissing and playful biting on the lips, cheeks, jawline, collarbone, or neck can be really tantalizing, but no hickeys, please. How hard you nibble is of personal preference, so make sure to tell your boo what really drives you crazy. And while it makes for a seductive first-time hookup, introduce the idea slowly. Go easy to start and you'll know if it's well received, says Richmond. If the person pulls back, it's off the table. Lizard kiss. Just tongues, and that's it. The lizard kiss is an unconventional type of foreplay that two people really have to find sexy, but, hey, don't knock it till you try it. Neck kiss. Neck kisses are highly depicted in movies and most often referenced in romance novels starring Fabio-esque male leads, but they're even more sensual IRL. The neck is an underrated erogenous zone full of delicate, sensitive nerve endings, making for very fiery foreplay, especially for women. Body kiss. Besides the neck, there are tons of other areas on the body worth kissing, including the chest, stomach, torso, feet, and booty. All this depends on an individual's sexual preferences and ticklish meter. Remember, what feels good to one person might not feel good to another. If you really pay attention to your partner's body language, you're going to get a lot of information, says Richmond.